What's up guys? Coming at you with another FortiGate tutorial here. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up an IPsec VPN tunnel to your FortiGate and allow users to connect through the Windows native VPN client. So, the first thing you want to do when you're setting this up is you want to make sure that you have users, the users that you want to connect to the VPN client, you want them assigned to a specific group. So, before we start working on the IPsec VPN settings, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have a user and a group. Um, so what I did is I went ahead and I created this user called Windows VPN. And then I'm going to assign him to a group that I've already created called Windows Native VPN. So that's going to be my local user and my local group. That I'm Those are the only people that I want being able to connect to this IPsec VPN. So once we got that done, um, you can see here that if you click on IPsec tunnel template, there are multiple different templates that can be used if you don't want to use the Forta client or the web mode software for VPN connections to your FortiGate. You know, the FortiGate supports Cisco, um, also iOS and Android, which I will be coming out with a video in the future on how to set it up with your Android or Apple device. Uh, but also the Windows native client, which is what we're going to use here. Now, reasons you may want to do this is because you have some users that aren't as experienced uh, with different types of software, or you, you have users that, um, you know, just don't want to learn a different software. They're comfortable with using the Windows native VPN. I think Windows native VPN, you can control some different things or group policy, you know, in order to force it to connect when the computer boots up uh, without any additional software that, which you can you do with FortiGate, but um, this is what we're going to do here. So as you can see, the dial-up Windows native. Um, now you can, you don't have to use the template. You can create a custom v, uh, IPsec tunnel, uh, and the way to do that is if you go to the IPsec wizard and you cl uh, click Remote Access and choose Custom. When you hit next, it'll give you the options to set the tunnel up the way that you want to set it up. That way you can, you know, tweak it as you, as you may need, um, in order to, I guess, uh, customize it. Uh, so you can do that here. I found the easiest way and, you know, foolproof ways to just use the wizard. So I'm going to name my IPsec tunnel windows native. I'm going to choose remote access. And if you go to remote device type native, you can see you have options for iOS, Android, and Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Windows here. The incoming interface is going to be the WAN, your wide area network, or, you know, or whatever you have named your, uh, your wide area network. Now I may do a video in the future showing how to set this up with certificates, but for, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use a pre-shared key. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that up now. And then this is why you need to have your user group and user set up initially, uh, because if you don't, you'll have to get out of here. It'll, it'll cancel out everything you just did to go and create that. So I'm going to select my user group there, local interface. This is the interface that you want your VPN user who is connecting to your FortiGate. This is the interface that you want them to, um, have access to. And then for local address, this is going to be the, basically the address that whatever they connect, they'll be natted to, um, to, to have access to your internal network. So for client address range, the, the user connecting to your network is not going to just receive an IP from whatever network you want them to have access to. They're going to be receiving a separate IP address. Um, and that's what they want you to put here. So. Um, I have a 192.168 network. I'm going to assign my VPN users a 10.0.0.2.1. Um, so any users that connect to this um, VPN will receive an IP in this range. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna leave the subnet mask as 32. Now, if everything works out well, you should see this. The VPN has been set up message. And it just tells you all the interfaces and address policies that it created for you. So if you set this up um, the custom way, none of these um, interfaces or policies will be created. You'll have to manually create those as well. 
So now if we go to our IPsec tunnels, we can see that we have our Windows native tunnel here. And this is the one that users will be connecting to. Also, if you go into your interfaces, you will, you will also see that under your WAN interface, you do have a, now you'll have the tunnel interface for your, uh, for your user to connect to. So now if we go to the policy and objects, the IPv4 policy, you'll see that when you created the IPsec VPN through the wizard, it's going to create two policies for you. And both of these policies, one of them um, gives your VPN users access to your home network. And as you can see, um, NAT is automatically enabled, which will NAT your v, uh, your IP that you get, you're given when connected to the VPN, and it'll NAT that to your to your uh, private IP. And then you have just the layer two protocol, everything using that is allowed. So it creates those for you in order just, you know, for the Windows devices to connect. All right, so now that we have that set up, all you're gonna need is a Windows desktop. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at that now, make sure it's working properly. All right, so once you get to your, your Windows device, you're going to just type in VPN. VPN settings is what we want to access. All right, so once you get into the VPN settings screen, you're going to just add a VPN connection here. VPN provider, you're going to choose Windows built-in because that's the VPN um, software that we're going to be using. For connection name, I'm just going to call this Home FortiGate. Server name, now this is going to be your public IP address of the WAN interface that is listening for this IPsec tunnel. So, you know, if you are unfamiliar with public IP, you can go into Google. It's the easiest way that you know, I know of and just type in what is my IP and it'll tell you your public facing IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in mine here for VPN type. Now, when we were setting up this, this uh, VPN tunnel on the FortiGate, the type that's set up for the Windows native is L2TP IPsec, and we set it up with a pre-shared key. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select that there. Now the pre-shared key is going to be the key that you set up when um, creating the tunnel. Your username and password is entered in right after that. So you're going to put your username and then your password that you, that you created with your user. You're going to save that. Now you can connect here in the settings menu, or you know if you want to exit out of here, you don't want to go into VPN settings every time you want to connect. If you click on your network adapter or whatever's connected to your internet, whether it's, uh, in my case, it's ethernet, in your case, it may be Wi-Fi, um, it'll always be listed down here, and you can click connect. And as you can see, we're connected. So if we go to command prompt, and we type in IP config. And we can see here that the IP address that we're given when connected to the VPN is within our range of 10.0.0.10 to 20. So we received the first IP on that uh, we re we received the first IP on that range. And so now we're going to test. Let's just see if I can ping something on my local network. And we can. So, um, yeah. So now we have... We're connected through the Windows native VPN. We installed no software, no FortiClient software. We're set up to be able to access our local network um, all within Windows. Again, you can set up different settings and procedures for your users uh, through group policy regarding the Windows native VPN client. This is just a, a useful tool if you don't want to fool with, uh, the FortiClient software um, and just kind of give your users something else to learn. Um, so. Let's uh, let's take a look back and just see 
what it looks like on the FortiGate side. So if we go to monitor on the FortiGate and we check out the IPsec monitor, we can now see that a tunnel has been created and we have traffic passing both ways on the Windows um, tunnel. Guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope that you find it helpful and useful. If there's anything else you'd like me to cover with the FortiGate devices, please let me know in the comments below or send me a message. Um, as always, guys, if you really like this video and you found it useful, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you know, just give me some feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.